What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs day number 1561. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats or any of the others, you my friends are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications with the bell to the right. Set it to all so you're always up to date. And of course, if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style, and here we go. So this comes from John. And, see, and the subject is another issue with DoorDash. Ah, there's always an issue with DoorDash, right? So he goes, hey, Pete, my name is John. I have 1,041 deliveries at this time. Not too bad. Anyways, I saw your video and figured I had a good one for you. So when I was dashing yesterday, I got an order to a pizza place and DoorDash's app was trying to have me go to a hotel to pick up the order. Ha ha, good thing I knew where this pizza place was located or I would have been really lost. So I got on the phone with support and I let them know about the issue. Uh, they did correct the error on their part and gave me a $4 extra pay on that order for reporting the issue. And because it was their fault, they said they corrected the address and I went on, uh, on my way with the delivery. After that delivery, my app started to slow down. I have a high range phone, which is a whole other story in itself. But anyways, so the app started to slow down and then decided to glitch out. This usually always happens to me between uh, around 7 to 8 p.m. in my area. Of course, DoorDash keeps telling me that it's my phone. I've switched phones four times now. And now that I have a high range phone that's 5G, there should be no reason for it. It's annoying because every time it happens, I have to pause and restart my phone. So that's about five or 10 minutes I have to wait when I can be taking orders. It's craziness. Anyways, hope you find my story helpful and thanks for reading it. Have an awesome day, John. So, John, firstly, uh, sorry that's that's happening to you. Uh, if you've changed phones four times, and like you said, you have this high range phone, which usually has a pretty solid connection, uh, I have another question for you. Um, are you on the other apps like Grubhub and Uber Eats? And my other question is, does the same thing happen on those apps as well? That's a good way to test this um, because if it's an isolated issue, then there's something obviously going on with bad connection between your phone and DoorDash's servers or your phone and your local cell tower, which is bouncing off the data to get to DoorDash. You know, um, I would what I would recommend is hop on Grubhub and Uber Eats. If you haven't yet, go to Grubhub.com, sign up there, get on the waiting list, uh, or use the link for Uber Eats down below in all my descriptions. Click on that, sign up. They'll usually approve you, you know, within 24 to 48 hours. In most cases, sometimes it could take longer. Um, and try the exact same time between that seven to eight, you know, period. I would start maybe around. I would try and work between six and nine so that you can see if between seven and eight, it slows down again. If it does, then it could be something with your area in your market. In fact, John, what, what market do you work in? I don't think you mentioned that. Uh, what market and what state are you in? Uh, cause I'm curious to know, because maybe if you're in a, you know, more, uh, rural farm like area, that's more spread out. Sometimes the, the signal can be bad, even though you said you have a high range phone, but you said you've switched four phones four times. So that right there tells me there's some issue between your phone and DoorDash connecting. And it's strange that it's between seven and eight, which I guess would be, you know, like a high peak time for a lot of drivers to be out there delivering. So that is another thing to keep in mind. So drivers, dashers, all of you guys watching right now in the chat or the comments, uh, what do you think is going on here with John? Uh, Cause obviously if he's uninstalled the app, reinstalled it, if he's tried airplane mode off and on, on and off, you know, there's just so many things you can do. But I would say, you know, if it keeps persisting and if between that seven and 8 p.m. time, stop your dash or pause your dash during that time and go work on Grubhub and Uber Eats just for that hour and then resume at eight o'clock or 8.30 when it clears up again. 
that's really the only other advice I can offer right now. So I hope that helps a little. Uh, and of course, all of you out there, if you ever want to reach out and send me something, a comment, a topic, a question, a story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email or forward it. Pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That information's in the description down below. Click show more. Or for a quicker response, you guys can always message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash pay to drive. That link's in the description down below. Uh, definitely go and check that out. Uh, anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got Ron Grubb, our tier five driver. We've also got John Birchfield, David Moore, Angela Counts McCarty, Steel United 111, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Ju Juip, Juip, uh, uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, uh, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, Ginny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, and Rebecca Swenson. So, huge shout outs to all of them. Really appreciate you all. If you guys want to sign up, like I said, links in the description down below or the pinned top comment. Who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it'll be one of you. Let's find out. And with that being said, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That link is in the description down below or the pin top comment where it says get the free gas app. You click on there. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you use. And then from there, you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to check it out today. And with that being said, everybody, if you guys want to get one of these awesome Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, they're available at paytodrivestore.com, the official merch store of Pay to Drive. Links in the description of the pin top comment. Of course, we have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Go check it out. And with that being said, my friends, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful for you all. Leave a comment letting me know saying END255, END 255, E N D 255. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on so you're always up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. And also, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my other channel, Team PTD, uh, where I upload more pay to drive content. That link is in the description or the pinned. Uh, top comment down below, turn on the notifications, hit the like button over there, hit the like button over here, just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.